It is no longer news that the federal appeal court sitting in Abuja has ruled for the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipab, Mazi Namdi Kanu to be set free, ruling, the Ipab leader has no case to answer following the seven-count terrorism charges leveled against him by the federal government. The appeal court passed judgment on the matter brought before it on Thursday. Exactly a month to the day of judgment, the appeal court has assured parties in the case involving Namdi Kanu that a day of judgment will be fixed and communicated to them. The appellate court had brought the matter forward for hearing on September 13, 2022 as against the initial October 11, 2022 fix for the hearing. The three-man panel led by Justice Jemai Hanatu, had said it had no need to delve into the issue of bail since the substantive appeal was ripe for hearing. The appeal court reserved judgment after lawyers representing Namdi Kanu and federal government argued extensively on whether the detained indigenous people of Biafra, Ipab leader has case to answer or not. Namdi Kanu, in his appeal dated April 29 and marked CA slash ABJ slash CR slash 625 slash 2022, applied to be discharged and acquitted. Mike Ozikom, a human rights lawyer who led the delegation of legal practitioners representing the Ipab leader, urged the appeal court to strike out the remaining seven count charges, citing lack of credibility. Ozikom asked the appellate court to review the April 8 ruling of the trial court which struck out only eight out of the 15 charges. Ozikom emphasized that the charge, federal government entered against Nambi Kanu have no basis in law. Ozikom said that his client was forcefully abducted from Kenya and illegally renditioned back to the country. He told the court that his client was first arraigned on December 23, 2015 and was later granted bail on April 25, 2017. My lords, he was enjoying this bail without breaching the terms. However, he was in his ancestral home when agents of the respondent invaded his home in September 2017. When the appellant traveled from London to Kenya, agents of the respondents, on June 27, 2021, forcefully abducted the appellant, tortured and renditioned him back to the country without following any extradition process, Ozikom added. He further argued that Kenya, being the country from where Kanu was arrested and extraordinarily renditioned back to Nigeria, ought to have authorized his extradition. Federal government, through its lawyer, David Caseway, urged the court to dismiss the appeal for one of merit. David Caseway said that the IPOB leader was brought back to the country by due process of the law. However, the appeal court sitting in Abuja on Thursday ruled that the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Nambi Kanu has no case to answer and hence he should be allowed to go home. The three-man panel of the Court of Appeals said the Federal High Court lacks the jurisdiction to try him in view of his abduction and extraordinary rendition to Nigeria in flagrant violation of the OAU Convention and Protocol on Extradition. The court held that the 15-count charge preferred against Kanu did not disclose the place, date, time and nature of the alleged offenses before being unlawfully extradited to Nigeria in clear violation of international treaties. The court also held that the federal government failed to disclose where Nambi Kanu was arrested despite the grave allegations of terrorism against him, according to the summary details of the judgment made known by the Biafra leader's lead lawyer, Ifeani Ejiofor. Nambi Kanu has repeatedly called for the breakaway of major Igbo-speaking communities in Nigeria to form the Republic of Biafra. On October 2015, he was arrested by Nigerian authorities on an 11-count charge bordering on terrorism, treasonable felony, managing an unlawful society, publication of defamatory matter, illegal possession of firearms and improper importation of goods, among others. He was granted bail on April 2017 for medical reasons. Nambi Kanu fled the country in September 2017 after an invasion of his home by the military in Afar Ukwu, near Omoahia, Abia State. He was then cited in Israel before relocating to London, UK. He has been under DSS detention since June 2021 when he was captured in Kenya and brought to Nigeria. Greater than never, never in history, that a defendant is pronounced discharged and acquitted, but insignificant individuals in power refuses to obey the order of the judge. To set free the innocent man? No, 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 this is the sad. Greater than. Greater than Mark Tayap 9, at Mark Tayap 9, October 14, 2022. Greater than I don't understand deep prayer, Nigeria as a whole has been reduced dis low imagine if the CIS is working deep prayer is not needed, smiley face, 
Western world that brought d religion to us they pray less because dare sis is wrkn not baba soap level. Greater than. Greater than Delhi, at Delhi 303591678, October 13, 2022. Greater than Shukwu Okika Abiyama give you all legal luminaries to Ipab MNK more strengths wisdoms blessings upon your shoulders Icy Ochua Ka Odi we move together. Now. Greater than. Greater than Biafra must free, at must underscore Biafra, October 14, 2022.